Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. Surpri oh, sorry, I'm going to have to somehow mute all my things. There's a conversation that just started as I press record and it's a group conversation. There's going to be lots of pinging, so I do humbly apologise. I will try and mute that in a sec. I have been mass producing some cards, as you know, um, I said recently that I need some birthday cards because I'm getting ahead with my birthday card list for the year. My January cards that weren't at the very start of January have literally just gone in the post that will be taken tonight. Hello Marlene, Colleen, Kathy, Cindy, Glenda and Liz. Thank you for joining me live. Um, so I started last night just grabbing out a few things and started prepping and I'm now at the point that I've prepped everything ready to put together so I thought why not say hi to you guys on a Sunday see how things are traveling hello Maria Glenda Jen and Deb um see how you guys are going on this Sunday for once it's not pouring here well not that it has been pouring but it's not particularly raining today so everyone's out mowing their lawns David and I have been very busily uh, doing things I've been prepping these cards in between folding washing putting washing in the machine cleaning the kitchen, baked a loaf of bread, all those things that you do on a Sunday ready for the week ahead. So the things I have been using are out of the upcoming celebration, which everything in here is for free and you earn that by spending. So there are stamp sets and papers in here. Ooh, I have not watched Mira Cindy. Hey, Barbara. So in Australia, it's for a $90 or $180 spend. There is one $180 um, dollar spend and the rest of them are $90. And I have grabbed the kit stamp set um, from the mini catalog. So the stamp sets I've used, I'm not actually stamping today. Oh, I am stamping. I do apologize. Um, I have used my ever favorite happy birthday. Um, so this is from the You Are Amazing kit and this stamp comes separate to the kit but is designed to coordinate with it. Hey Roz, I have used the Celebration Set Corner Bouquet. Hey Josie, and I have used another um, Celebration Set called A Touch of Ink and this one seriously has a bazillion stamps in it and I have used the Thinking of You sentiment, none of the images because I have cut up all of my non double sided snowflake pieces from the that was a really good catch by my leg um I don't think there's anything out of celebration I don't have Cindy or have multiples of so yes but this is the snowflake splendor paper now in Australia this is still available to purchase as of tomorrow night I've got some strips and I was thinking of making a strippy scrappy background um, even with the snowflakes and I was also considering cutting up the snowflakes and just making some simple Christmas cards because I know people out there appreciate snowflakes and seriously there are four pieces of paper left and I love the colours in this set which are balmy blue, coastal cabana, highland heather, misty moonlight, night of navy, pacific point, pool party and whisper white. I was just reading that directly off the back. Hey Pamela, um, so yes we have this paper. Um, and I'm really looking forward to showing you the cards that I have made and that we are going to make together. But this paper is only available while stocks last till tomorrow night and then it's gone. Hey Shelly, thanks for joining. And I dropped a catalogue on the floor. 
Okay, it's back. Um, so I have unembellished cards, but I have grabbed out a collection of embellishments and together we're going to work out what embellishments work. So this is what I'm touting as my masculine card. So I have used the You Are Amazing sentiment, stitch rectangle, a scrap of paper and a two and a quarter inch circle punch. Just something different to ground the sentiment and we can do this portrait or landscape so we'll do some of that and I also have this very soft feminine thinking of you card hi Fridanen how are you I know I just totally trashed your name and I'm so sorry about that I am just, I, I may be of Italian descent, but I'm terrible with European names. Um, so this is a really nice soft feminine card. So the corner bouquet and the sentiment from a touch of ink. So what I have pre-done, and I've got some of the first card to put together and to stamp. I have made all our card bases and put the pattern paper on them and majority of the pieces are glued dimensionaled and ready to whack on and i do have some spare dimensional edges ready so this is what i mean i've been a busy beaver you will be pleased to know i have changed my mat it is changed, it is bright white, but I had to use packing tape to tape it to my table. It's clear packing tape because I forgot to buy it at Office Works yesterday. Boo hiss. But that's okay. I can go back to Office Works. It's one of my favourite shops ever. Um I ran out of sticky tape wrapping Christmas presents. So clear packing tape has it and it's wrinkled clear packing tape but it's on my desk and um and it's stuck there it's not moving protecting my desk all of that hey Eileen thanks for joining hey Jan who else have I missed hello Amy sorry I missed you okay hello Miss Shannon I've got all these messages. I told you there was a group chat going on and all these messages are coming up distracting me. So let's flick you guys around and let's... Punches are falling over now and let's get making and assembling these cards together. I haven't even counted how many there are. So um, I'll count how many there are and I will be asking for audience participation. So please be ready at your keyboard to give me your opinions because your opinions are very important to me. And personally, I love chatting while I'm crafting and having you here. So let's flick you around, turn off the overhead light and I'll get up my second screen. Now, thank you everyone who has found me because they are subscribed or liked my page. I do appreciate that. If you're watching me for the first time, I would love it if you say hello so I know you're here watching and if you can um if you can tell us or if you can make sure that you are subscribed and liked if you enjoy what you're seeing today black magenta and octopus haha ha, cindy so funny hello miss susan thank you for joining i swear this miss susan thing denise got me doing because she's so southern that she goes, Hi, Miss Cindy. Although I love her to bits. I get the, I've now started doing it myself. It's pretty funny. I'll turn off my light and get rid of the shadows. Okay, that's that done. I'm hoping the packing tape doesn't give off a whole lot of shine, but we will see. Okay. Let's get up Facebook and I did just check to see if this paper is available and it is still in my store, the um, Snowflake Splendor paper. Okay, 
let's make sure I am on mute, which I am, so I won't hear past me talking. And I'm making these cards in bulk. One, to use up the pattern paper that I have, because frankly, I love this pattern paper and I love the um, watercolour effects on it. So this has like had salt or water popped on it and the ink has just either spread in a bloom like this or possibly been picked up and removed some of the ink over here. I love the unpredictability of that technique. I know, I, I no one's complained that they don't like being called that, so I've just kept doing it, Cindy. Okay, so these are my unembellished cards. So what I want to start with is our masculine card. And what I was smart enough to do was to use my Stamparatus. So this is a very naked Stamparatus. There aren't any blocks on here. And the stamp set I have used for this is You Are Amazing. My other two stamp sets I'll just pop to the side for the moment with that card. Okay, so pop that there. So I've used my very naked Stamparatus. I stamped the sentiment firstly onto a scrap of paper. And then I used my ever favourite, you guys see these in, these in almost every other video, my stitched rectangle dies. And I cut it out. Now this left this hole right here. And I was very smart and didn't remove my stamp from the plate. So what I can do is pop this in and I'll be smart and just pop my magnet there. So when I stamp this, it is in exactly the same spot for every um, die cut piece. And then all I did, sorry if you can hear my dryer beeping in the background, that's my kids' sheets that are dry. Although I said it's not raining very much at the moment, it's not quite warm enough for me to dry sheets on the line. Thanks, Cindy. I love it too, but I do feel it does need a bit of an additional embellishment. So, um, if I was smart, I'd just do this for a second so you can see. No, that's not going to work. So you can see completely what I'm doing here. Okay. Come on, come on. Good. No, that's just... Do what you told piece of paper. If I had it trimmed it, it would have been a bit easier. But alas, this, oh, that's upside down. Upside down is not the way I want it in there. Right way up is going to help. And we can use, if we somehow stuff it up, we can turn it over and use the other side. Hello, Miss Lisa. So, we are stamping in Misty Moonlight because that coordinates with the paper, which, as I repeat, is our Snowflake Splendor paper that in Australia is still available till tomorrow night. And then all those products are gone, especially the stamp sets that are still available. Then I pop this down. Now, I bought something really handy dandy the other day. This is a whiteboard eraser. So you girls know I have issues with my hands. And this just puts nice even pressure without me using my fingers and straining my fingers, which I'm finding I'm doing more and more. So you can see I haven't got a great impression, but there is still ink here. So I can take this and just put pressure over those particular areas because we have used the Stamparatus. Yeah. This B is not... Ah, there we go. But generally, that does work. And here comes the rain. As I say, it hasn't rained. It is starting to rain right now. So we have perfect crafty weather today. 
as well as me getting lots of housework done and crafting. Perfect day in my world. You can feel accomplished. And would you believe all the clothes are hung up or put away and all I have to do if I feel like doing it tonight is doing the ironing. But the ironing does comprise of school uniforms. It's school uniforms and like one pair of jeans. Yes, I, this is not my idea, Lisa. I definitely stole this idea um, from many other crafters. Um, Chris, uh, who is it that's got one? Um, Amy Rasabi of Prairie Paper and Ink, she's got one. Um, Kathy Zilski has recently been given one, but she used to use a Swiffer cloth. Um, I just find I'm not using as much, I don't use as oh my god would you believe what I just did it just dropped in my ink pad but I also love that I found an ergonomic one so it just makes it a bit easier sorry I've got to wipe this ink off before I get it everywhere because you know I shall because I've already done it today. I went, where did that ink spot come from? And my whole finger had been in ink. Okay, so that extra little push just helped. Using my Stamparatus allowed me to get that perfect inking. And they are all my pieces done. So now what I can do, I can discard this piece because there are a few marks on it after all my doing things. And I'm also going to be a bit smart. Take this straight off and clean it. Because I'm not having a good ink day. And I'm kind of getting ink everywhere. And I do have storage for these just off to the side. So I will pop that away in its home straight away. There we go. Now, I will get my... And someone remind me to close this ink pad. Stamp and scrub. Ink pad. Utility scissors. And I am so accomplished today that I got my orange oil and I cleaned my mucky scissors including these ones they weren't as bad as my big orange ones i cleaned my trimmer because it was had a bit of sticky stuff on it with the orange oil and now everything is gliding and moving beautifully again so this is my stamp and scrub i mention it a lot uh, because it is perfect for using with your red rubber stamps i'm being quite generous because all the stamps I'm using today are red rubber. Where did I just pull that from? It does have a hole in my little Lazy Susan organizer off to the side. So all we do, we have a wet side and a dry side. Wet side, I just did my spray, scrub, scrub, scrub. It's nice and soapy. And then we dry, dry, dry. And it's dry and ready to pop straight back in the stamp set and then that way everything's clean and ready to go now i'm going to take a small break because you guys have been chatting up a storm and i want to make sure there aren't any questions that i've missed before i get too far ahead okay so that's this let's See, happy new year to you too, Sunny. Oh, Gina K, yes, and I think all those people actually mentioned Gina K. Yes, Cindy, that's what I've used it for is just to take that pressure off, and because you've got the felt on the bottom. Oh, that's not good, Josie. We don't, oh, David did say there was meant to be afternoon storms, but that was just a shower. I get more messy ink. So do I-ish, but with me doing this, I didn't get too bad. I, okay, how do I wash my stamp and scrub? I love stamp and mist. I love the smell of it, Rhonda. 
Okay, so how do I wash my Stampin' Scrub? Quite easily. Put it in the bottom of the sink. Put some dishwashing liquid in each side. Take a scrubbing brush and I scrub it. Then I rinse it copiously until the water runs clear and there's no soap and no ink. And then I let it dry. So I let it dry in like an A so it all drains out. I've also been known to blow dry it in a pinch if I need it fairly urgently for like a class. This was just working because I've been using this all day. And now it's got big glue goober. There we go. I know I cleared that. Okay. And yeah, I prefer to let it air dry. But that isn't always possible. So I do use a hairdryer on a low setting to try and dry it. Or pop it near the heater. That's okay. How do you clean yours, Cindy? I'd like to know. Please tell me how you guys... Um, clean your stamper mist because they do they're you're cleaning your stamps on them so they do get gunked up with the ink and that's just the nature of the beast now I didn't you can flag these ends angle cut these ends there are many things you can do with them I just decided to keep them exactly as they are and just keep them blunt, square. Uh, where are my edges and my scissors? Running underwater. Okay, yeah, I'm set it on the dishboard. Yeah, I don't do it under running water. I do the rinsing under running water. Just because we're generally underwater restrictions here. So... I don't like to waste water as such. Not saying that you are, but that's just kind of the rule around here. Um, so, yeah. But it works. And I use the sprayer. I find the sprayer on my... Um, the sprayer on my uh, tap works better because you've got more force behind it so dimensionals on the back of the sentiments just layered the circle and i have used a two and a quarter circle punch here i have used all my circle punches for these two cards so this is two and a quarter because i thought it had a really nice proportion now how many we said we we're going to count cards didn't we so we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. We're going to make twenty-one cards because well, I've already made two, so we're making nineteen cards together. Trust me, they'll come together quickly. Okay, so for these ones, as I said, Knight of Navy card base, I've cut my Snowflake Splendor paper, already popped that on. So I can make this portrait, like this card here, or I could make it landscape. And I don't know, I feel like I need to see it right way around. For this one, I might do landscape just to do something different just pop a couple of dots of glue nothing crazy it's not as if it's going to be held by a crane upside down so we know god knows what the postal services do these days okay just hold that down where we've applied the glue just a little bit ah very good yeah, I just put it on the bottom of the sink open, like wet it, scrub, scrub, scrub. I, I'll like, I'll add water a couple of times, but I, I rinse it under running water. I don't necessarily, um, I don't necessarily wash it the whole time. So I've cut this at 
nine and a half centimeters so it works in both orientations I love this dark bloom here sorry I had lunch just before I came on and sorry if you can hear David coughing he's had quite bad asthma the past few days poor poor man we slept in shifts the other night he kept me awake and then I woke him up to see if he's wheezing was the dog whining or if he was actually wheezing Josie you need to tell us that story seriously did the dog get it or did it melt <laughs> I need more information, Miss Josie, because your dog, I swear, could do no wrong. Your dog is so adorable. Now, the other thing I thought we could add to this card, and I may, I think it's more to the other cards, but I'll show you in a sec once I've adhered these. And once I've done these two cards, I'm going to go to the next card, and then we're just going to chat and do mass production. Just in case anyone does need to go somewhere, you can see the two uh, the two designs put together at the start and then we'll do all the big putting together at the end because then that's me being kind. Oh, it, bu it buckled. Okay, good to know. Don't put it in the full sun. Learn from Josie's mistakes. And look at me. I blame the dog. Oh, it might have been 40 degrees. Oops. Okay. So, the gems I got out that I thought we could embellish with. I did get out our 2020 to 2022 in-colour enamel dots, which do have um, the misty moonlight dots. Now, you don't, you do get quite a few dots in here. I do have a second packet behind here ready to go. You do get lots of dots, but I was thinking mm, maybe not. We do have the holiday rhinestones, and these have cherry cobbler. These are in the main catalogue. All these embellishments are out of our main annual catalogue. So in this one, you get Night of Navy, Pool Party. Shaded Spruce, Cherry Cobbler, and I want to say um, Mango Melody. So really nice holiday colours. And you can see I've used almost all of the Cherry Cobbler. And I got out our plain rhinestones. So what I thought, because I have now all... Oh, do I have a second pack here? Oh, look at that. Let's use this one up first. Um... I'm going to embellish it and show you. Obviously not, I'm touting these as my masculine cards. So not all men are going to appreciate bling. Oh my God, 20 minutes. Yes, well, that's what I thought, Cindy. And being patterned paper, I just want to get it used. It's called just using it up. It's almost out of the catalogue. So let's use it, I say. You know I like things in groups of threes. And then up here. Oh, not in a straight line. Okay. So you can see that's very pleasing. That looks wonderful. Matching colours. Well, pretty much matching. So that's nice. You could also add them just on the sentiment as well. With this one. I might use some of our basic rhinestones and I will use a couple of the other ones so you can see all three. I always have to use this away. What do I have on this one? Aha, use up the one that's not used first. So I'm going to go same configuration Oh, I have no mediums left on this one. So I'll just use two littles. It's one. No. 
just come off would you being very very stubborn people right you'd think it would listen to me wouldn't you I was being so kind kinder one and a two so then we have just our clear ones so it just draws your eye yeah I don't I think I run my dishwasher way too hot to put it in the dishwasher Joe's so yeah no problems oh no problems at all Susan I know I'm on a bit late for some of you um, US peeps but it's just the way my day went okay so let me pop these to the side and I will have a look and see what our um, in color enamel dots look like on it I don't know if they'll go but we'll give it a go and the I, I love these enamel dots the only thing about them is they're all the same size I'm going to use three and oh come on move pick up please aha the, I think this blends but we'll open the second pack and we'll finish it off and at least then we know I think I prefer the other two options but I'm also an advocate for leaving some of them plain sorry drink bottle on the slate only thing about metal drink bottles they're awfully loud okay this way okay one two and three oops and and one ah oh, see on the lighter blue this one looks much better but on the darker it kind of blends in one and two so you can see here I just don't think they have the same pizzazz so we've got the in color enamel dots we have the holiday rhinestones and we have our normal basic rhinestones so they're the three and you saw it plain so tell me which is your favorite while I do a mini cleanup and I move along to the next card. Oh, it's only 8.40. Yes, you did get me live, Jennifer. It's been a while, I feel, since I saw you. Oh, I'm that's early. Although, you are a night owl, Cindy. I know you're a night owl. Okay, so just let me pop these away so I haven't got 10 bazillion pieces of bits and bobs on my desk corral 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 and then we will flip to our next card and then we'll just chat and do some mindless assembly because I do hope I'm helping you through this painful time of year I know a lot of you are back at work in the next couple of days so I'm finished using the you are amazing stamp set and we're flipping over to using a touch of ink and the corner bouquet which are both um, celebration sets so you can't purchase them but you make a purchase to earn them for free okay um okay sorry that was a message from my stepdaughter good to know she's alive she's just finishing work she's obviously had a morning shift she's a nurse and works in the um, in emergency harry potter oh this one this one yes oh my god i never 
Jennifer, you are exactly right. I like them all, but the holiday ones stood out a little bit more to me. Yeah, Marjean, I agree. I'd be happy to use any of them, just depending on the paper. So I've made two designs using this because I've used two different pieces of paper. So this is the more pool party paper. I'm going to grab one that's a bit more two-toned. So this is the pool party paper and this is the balmy blue and highland heather paper so i have set these up in my stamp artist surprise surprise and i will um go ahead and do my stamping in the stamp artist with these now for you so it is really really easy and i think i may have cut one too many circles oh Susan you poor thing you're okay go to sleep I'll be here on the replay it's all good so what I have done I've just I forgot to save one of the papers but that's okay so what I've done is just yeah, popped so I've already mounted this because I've already done all my other card bases. And you can see this goes perfectly in the corner. Oh, that might be why I was having trouble stamping because there are air bubbles. Let me see if I can fix those air bubbles without moving the position of the stamp. Okay, that might actually, I got rid of my air bubbles. I had two big air bubbles and couldn't work out why my stamping was so crap. But anyway, okay, so we have this larger corner piece set up. Right, yes, well, I'm just trying to, I'm using this, this is meant to be Christmas paper. This has snowflakes on the back, but we all know my feeling on snowflakes and the fact that it's generally hot here for Christmas. It wasn't hot this year. I was wearing jeans, leggings on Christmas Day and a three-quarter, maybe long sleeve shirt. Okay, so pop this down. I will grab my um, whiteboard eraser again and just get some nice, even pressure here. Pretty good. Just need to go over this area a bit more. For some reason, all that ink has transferred. I think it's because I'm stamping onto pattern paper. I need to test this set just on cardstock but anyway i'm happy with the i'm it just seems a little blotchy sorry it just seems a little blotchy but i can see all the ink has transferred so i'm just mm, i'm not sure i'm pretty sure i've cleaned it with the stamp chamois as well and I've removed ink out of the ink pad because I thought the ink pad, the ink pad does look a little inky, um, but it was too dry before. Sometimes it's very hard to get that happy medium. Okay, bring this in again. So I find I'm putting more pressure on this through my arms than through my actual fingers which is kind of what you want as Cindy was saying she has trouble with her arthritis um, and it's just something I literally picked up at office works so I'm going to use the other corner piece on one of these cards but what I will do in the meantime is pull this off and I'll whack it on a block ready to clean and we will clean up 
as we go. And I will put this Stamparatus plate away as well. Look at me being all organised today. I don't know who I am. Like doing CPR. It's not. I don't feel like I'm doing CPR. I did before. When I used it before. So I have my other corner um, image lined up. So no thinking, just attaching. So I literally laid it on the piece of paper where I wanted it and picked it up on the Stamparatus. It was not hard to do. Okay. Done. So that's the difference between one corner and two corners. It's not that much, but and we're just adding a circle element um, to the middle. Do you prefer one corner or two? Be interested to know while I clean these stamps. Okay, and I do normally store my stamp routers without any of the plates. You work better if you stand. Well, we all know what I'm like on my two feet. You know how last week I said I had a fall? I actually bruised my tailbone as well, but it took me ages um, to realise that I bruised my tailbone as well. Because that's how special I am. Okay, and I do normally work with uh, some of our paper as well, if not the... Um, with the photopolymer stamps, I've got the uh, grid, the grid mat, uh, deluxe foam mat as well. One corner, okay. <laughs> Go to bed, Susan. We'll see you on the replay. <laughs> you poor thing. Okay, so you like one corner, right? That's these done. Let's attach these to the card base and because I was mass producing and I am going to remove this goo bar because I can see it causing issues I sometimes find it easier to just put my glue on the card base because I know roughly where the piece of paper is going then I'm not I might make this one a landscape. Um, I roughly know where it's going. So then I've still got wiggle room. So that was too much. I've still got wiggle room, but I'm not struggling putting the piece of paper on the card. If that makes sense. I cannot wait to get my nails done next week. They are so super long. I think I need to get them done shorter. No, but if you girls need to know, go. <laughs> um, I will not be offended. Because I know you... Come back and watch replay. Catch up on the chat. Participate in the chat. I have been a bit slack. I think I'm two videos behind on doing comments now with this video. Three videos. But that's okay. I might sit tonight and do that while watching stuff. I'll ignore my ironing for a bit longer. The kids can't back at school till the end of January. End of January, beginning of February. I'm fine. Okay, don't need this glue anymore. So put that off to the side. So now I don't know where my other pieces are. So for these, I must have done the extra for some reason. So I've got... Hmm. Might be in my bowl you know that extra piece right i do wonder where it is 
Hmm. One's just going to have to have balmy blue on it. Even though there's no balmy blue in this paper, but that's okay. So just for these sentiments, I've stamped the thinking of you from a touch of ink. The thinking of you's there. So you can see it's not true to size and does say um, that the images on the front are shown at 65%. So I'll show you how big the hummingbirds are. So they are quite large. Really nice large images and the sentiments are just, they're not small, they're not big, they're just a nice size. Okay, so that's what I've used and oh, I closed that glue. I need that glue again, silly me. Okay, for these ones, I'm not sure. Now, where is that done card? Where's the card that I've actually made using it? Do you think I can find it? Aha! Uh -huh. Now that I've got room, so this is the card that I did with just one corner. And what I've done, I'll see if I can show you. I've just added wink to all the blooms. And if you have a look in this corner bouquet, it also has... Um, these seed pods from Enjoy the Moment in it. It's got these ones in it. So it's a really nice mix and picking up on other sets. So I've got uh, three or four seed pods in there, but I've just added Wing Costella. So I didn't think I needed any other embellishment. Tell me if you think I need more embellishment on that other than the um other than the winker stella i could and i have grabbed it out and mounted it and i never did clean those stamps i did grab out the splatter stamp which is this one here and i thought we could add some purple splatter to this pool party background I don't own those ones, Rhonda. And they are in the oh, the current in colours. So those butterfly gems, I'm pretty sure, are in uh, terracotta tile, bumblebee, rococo rose, uh, seaside spray. So those colours wouldn't coordinate with this paper because this is pool party and balmy blue. As such, I'm just going with coordinating colours, but you could add those colours if you wished. Okay. Uh, dimensionals, where do I put them? They're right here off to the side. This is an extra for some reason. Do you want to know why? Because I have just found a whole piece. I have a rogue piece of paper so I'll show you I'll do this one later freehand apparently so you can see how this pattern has splatters through it the Highland had the splatters I thought if I wanted to I could stamp some random splatters on this piece as well I might do it on one piece and show you so I'll pop this to the side and make that card up later apparently what am I doing? Dimensions. And such an accomplishment. I have finished this whole sheet. Kind of. Sort of. Got to get this piece off the backing, which I conveniently... Well, not so conveniently cut. Okay. Right. In the bin, in the bin, in the bin. Oh, I could. I could. We have Highland Heather in our... Um, we have Highland Heather in our stamp and blends. So I could make Highland Heather rhinestones. Let's try that. 
that would look really really nice highland heather rhinestones do you know what this is going to go perfectly with that one and i may just have to very quickly stamp another one of these because i knew i did it for a reason so this one i kind of like in the center of the two bouquets because you could put it off to the side here or you could pop it in the middle okay i am going to grab a scrap of whisper white and i have one here that i previously used for something else and i'll grab that because strike while the iron is hot i say thinking of you grab a block as always everything is close at hand here and we want pool party to go with my other card hello mr linda thank you but i do like Rhonda's idea i will try that in just a minute just a minute okay that's done so the two circle punches i have used for this and i think i may even have a card base for that other card so let's see how we go because i still have that ink pad open for some reason and it's obviously the reason that we need to use it so i've used the one and a half inch punch for our sentiment and then mounted that onto a two inch circle of highland heather and as you can imagine making all of these cards i now need highland heather cardstock and i need knight of navy cardstock too so they are both on my wish list to purchase later this month. Okay, so that is the way. Now I've had a small dilemma and it just came into my brain. We are under current restrictions of five people being allowed in your house we were at 10 but because we've had a couple of hot spots in sydney nothing too too crazy out of control but enough for them to lower the numbers i'm thinking i'm going to have to do two launch parties two weekends in a row because i'm only allowed five guests at each so my first one is going to be on i think it's the 17th and i'll do one um yeah exactly um glenda they are fantastic value for money especially oh god it's okay i'll use my edges i'm almost finished my mini dimensionals so i'll start cutting up the edges of this um, they are great value to use with your um, blends. Just remember you cannot use them with your stamp and write markers because it isn't an alcohol based marker. So the stamp and write marker ink will just wipe straight off. Um, well, yeah, it will um, just wipe straight off. It needs to be our alcohol-based blends markers. Okay, thank God for using the edges of the mini dimensionals because we'll now need a whole new sheet of our normal dimensionals. Let's... I've got that. I've got that. Let's do just a single corner of this now that I, this will be interesting. This may turn into a disaster, but it's 
what I've done and what we need to do. So, okay. I know. Right, that's inked up. Line this up with thinking this is going to be a portrait one. And we're going to nestle it into this corner. And I'm not wiggling all... Oh, I don't know. I'm just making sure that I apply pressure. Here you can really tell. Now, there's no reason why I can't do that. That's a good stamped image. Yay me. Right. And if I pull out my cardstock... I have one pre-done card base just sitting here. Then I will get to colouring some gems and we'll see how a couple of those will look on this card. I am so surprised that I have the door of my study open and both my children home. I've got one who's cleaned out the top drawer in his bedroom. And the other one, I don't know if you can quite hear the music that he is making. Oh, I know. Yes, you can colour the pearls as well. But I loved the iridescent pearls that we currently Mm, we still had yesterday in Australia the black iridescent pearls. Oh, they were just stunning. Okay. See how I just struggled putting that on rather than putting the glue onto the card base? I don't know. I always struggle. Okay, that's that one done. Those two ones can sit there. Actually, I'll put them straight in my basket and we will close the ink pad. Don't need to flirt with disaster there. Grab my dark Highline Tether because it will give us the most impact. Let me double check. Dark Highland Heather. Grab our gems. I'm just going to do one with, one without. And you can tell me what you think. Oh, I want the brush end. Hello, Miss Lorraine. Lorraine, I have been meaning to call me on the cards too. Okay, I will do this card with some splatters. I think this one is... Will the gems will finish it off, but I'll do some splatters on this one. So you can see already that. So I need five. Okay, two big, three little. Just give that a bit of time. Splatters. So do you mean I need to open my ink pad again, Glenda? You're getting me working here. Getting me working, I tell you. Mm. I think I like them stamped off, but I've got nothing to stamp off onto. I've got my to-do list to stamp off onto. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had left it. I wish I didn't have that full strength one. I do like the other ones. Do you know what? I think I'm going to omit it now that I've tried it. And because I've got ink on the edge of that block, I've just got <laughs> Very slightly damp baby wipe there. Tell me what you think, Glenda, while I then attach some rhinestones. I 
I said to myself in my head, stamp it off first. Oh, uh, do you know what? I wouldn't do that because, um, because they're not very wet and I, it's kind of permanent ink. So I don't want to get it. Yeah, I don't want to get it on everything and then not be able to get it off, if that makes sense. That looks crappy. One there, and then that one there. That makes me happier. I don't mind that. And I like the wink. Because this is my phone. Splatter, wink splatters with Heather. How do I do wink splatters with Heather? You mean have a pull of ink on a block and then pick it up with the wink and go bam bam. That is way too messy for me. Because you go down that way and the splatters go up and down. But I like those. I do see where you guys are going, but it's just giving me <gasps> nose. <laughs> but anyway, just let me have a swig of water. Now, I need to clean off these stems. So let's do that while I'm thinking about it. And then we can get mass assembly. Wash, wash. So this is now damp because, but it certainly does clean them off well. Done. And I'll cheat. I normally don't use the stamp and scrub for my um, photopolymers because it does tend to stain the photopolymer. But I was just bold and did it anyway. Oh, welcome, Doug. We're just here card making, showing off some new products. Just hanging out, having a nice chat. Okay, pop these away. Okay, I let's see what we can do here. Hey Louise, thanks for joining. This is the first time I've had this, girls. Oh, no problems, Barbara. Thank you for joining me. Oh, I do. And don't worry. Dealt with. Big time. I'm deleting and doing all of that right now. So... Just making sure all of this is um, coming through. Great. I think we got rid of him. Hey, Janelle, thanks for joining. Happy New Year to you too. Kind of didn't say Happy New Year because I've already been on in the New Year. But I do hope you're having a good one. My, we've already had our first birthday celebration of the year. It was my mum's birthday yesterday went to went out for lunch and that was all nice to celebrate her yes I, I didn't know how to do it so I've just learned something new Cindy so however nice Doug was in the start I have now learned 
how to ban and block and delete comments. No, and seriously, for all the videos I do, that is the first time that has ever happened. Exactly, our crafting session is uber important. Okay, so with my photopolymers, I take off the plastic backing because it annoys the crap out of me. And then I just stick these because there's two sheets in this. So this is an awesome celebration, celebration set. And you stick them there and they don't fall off. And then they're there. So if you want to have a look at the stamps, you don't need to remove them. You can go, okay, they're those, they're those, and especially with two sets. Okay, let's get back to it. So I need my basket. Or do you know what? I'm going to do the purple ones first or the Highland Heather ones because they are on top and I should get another basket um, you all heard that oh, I'm going to get another basket as I said I've always got baskets close at hand to put my completed cards in so this one And I'll go through and add everything and then I'll embellish all at one stage. So what I've done, I've gone through and done all my stamping. Or for, yeah, I did all my stamping, did all my cutting. So I go through and batch things. So I, you can see I've now got to this point where the embellishments are done, the card bases are done, the stamping's done. So then I go through, adhere all of this in one big step. Then I'll go back through and wing Costella everything. And then I will see if I want to add any further embellishments or stamping. So these are my balmy blue embellishments. And then I have pool party embellishments or pool party sentiments for the other. So if anyone has any questions about my process or about what I've used, now is the time to ask while I'm not super duper concentrating and I am just showing you how these go together. I don't even know what time I got on. I didn't take any notice. Someone tell me how long I've been on, please. Okay. Still on the blue. So it might end up with 22 cards. I know the purple and balmy blue is beautiful. It was, or is, this has a few splatters um, already in the paper. It was my favourite pattern. And I didn't buy this paper to start off with. Um, because I went, oh, I don't do snowflakes. And then I saw my upline... Um, do it like this and then I saw my upline um, making using she used the snowflakes but with this pattern and I went oh my god oh my god I need that in my life so I did there's my fingerprint from earlier lucky paper has two sides is all I can say I feel really sad covering up those splatters. So I will move where my sentiment is so those splatters stay. So it doesn't matter where you put your sentiment. I just like it to be, especially with these two, um, slightly overlapping one of the, um, one of the uh, boot, corner bouquets.
I am seriously still one sentiment short. Okay. I may have to go back and stamp another one. I may do that later. I'll just pop this card to the side and if that's the only thing I need to do, I'll just keep going and just keep my momentum going so you can see once I've got everything set up it really doesn't take long to pop all these together and normally I'd be watching Netflix or TV series or a movie or something over an hour Okay, that's not too bad. It's my normal. And if any of you girls wanted to leave, and if there are any guys lurking that are being polite and just watching, I um, won't feel offended if you leave because this is just the boring bit. Okay. And this, and then I will grab all of these out. So, all of these out, pop those there, grab my Winker Stella glitter brush. And I'm thinking I won't add any more to these other than the Winker Stella because I just want to get these done and they do add something without being too in your face. I think they're pretty by themselves. Can you hear my son's music? Do I need to tell him to turn it down? Because I can clearly hear it now. My other son's muttering while playing the ex uh, playing the PlayStation. I don't want to know what he's playing. So you can see I'm not being terribly concise with these. But they're just getting on. Oh, I finished that. Yeah, I think I watched that on the first day. I've also watched Bridgerton. Um, what else have I watched recently? I'm currently watching The Traveller. Oh, I finished watching Cobra Kai. Love the Karate Kid and the fact that both my kids are now black belts. I love watching it even more. Um, so I just finished watching the new season of Cobra Kai. Watched that in two days as well as doing everything else in life. Um, what else? I'm watching The Travellers now. It's an older series. Um, it's got Eric McCormack from uh, Will and Grace. So it's actually a serious role, but I just like him. I like his voice. I think I um, take notice of voices because of David being in my life and being blind. He um, quite often voices to me, I don't like that person's voice. It just grates on me, but I love Eric McCormack. And one of the episodes um, that I watched last night, I think was eerily what's happening at the moment in the world. Um, it was quite... Even though this show was made many, many years ago, it was eerily close to the virus that's happening now and the way um, that it multiplied through the uh, population was, yeah, I'm there going, oh, that's scary. I think this one was stamped twice. It's quite a bit darker than the other images okay ah are, are you liking Bridgerton I've been watching ancient aliens yeah 
yes, I, I did enjoy Bridgerton. I do enjoy a period drama. Um, very Jane Austen ish with complicated relationships and everything like that and all the society pressures of high society I um, disagree with a lot of the things that have been written about it I just think people need to stop reading so heavily into these types of series and um just watch it for the enjoyment of it and these things happen in real life but it's entertainment i think people are just sometimes way too serious about these kinds of entertainment tv series i'm really hoping so Rhonda. oh i recently watched away and I watched it knowing there wasn't going to be a second series. And when I finished watching the series, I was so disappointed that there's not a second series. And that's one of the reasons I didn't watch it. Because I knew there wasn't going to be a second series. But I went, oh, I love Hilary Swank. And I love um, the dude who plays her husband. I can't think of his name. But he's from The Good Wife. With, um... Oh, Margulies. What's her first name? Juliana? Juliana Margulies from ER. There, yeah, I'm going back a long time. A little too spicy. Oh, I like the spicy. Talking, taking what too seriously. Um, taking the complicated relationship in that's depicted in the series too seriously. And I know there's a... I, I don't even want to say what it is live because I don't want my video flagged or anything. But there is what they say is a... A, a situation that in now society is fairly serious I watched it someone mentioned it to me and I went what what scene but yeah it's um yeah oh we have a miss hey Louisa come down here missy come on she just went under my computer desk the ning nong there's plenty of room yeah there's plenty of room hello Yes, I can feel your your tail bashing against my leg. There you go. You can join me and the girls. So I haven't had to squeeze this Winker Stella yet. And there's still plenty of it coming out. I'll see if I can... I don't know. It isn't as coming out as flowingly as what it was. And if I did... there, I do have plenty of um wink still in there and you can just push if you want more to come out i'm going to chance it give it a little push and it just comes through the barrel ah that's a little better yeah i had done a lot so to have that extra load you don't push hard you just do one little push and it's enough to just give you that extra flow. Now, these are the ones that I've got gems on. And I'm more than happy to add extra wink on those. So, that, that one's done. And that's this card done. Because I'm going to take up way too much time adding embellishments. And do you know what? I really don't think they need any extra embellishment and I do have that one extra card that I will add at the back that needs a sentiment okay now on to our masculine happy birthday so we did this is using the you are amazing stamp set and we use the stitch rectangles these are using the clear now I could use um, 
Winker, not Winker Stella. I could use um, <sighs> Night of Navy blends on this, but this is just with clear basic rhinestones. These are with the holiday rhinestones. Then we did some more subtle ones using the um, Misty Moonlight enamel dots. So they're those. Now what I'm going to go through and do is adhere these, then adhere the sentiment, and I'm not going to add any further embellishments with these ones. Okay. I'm going to empty this though. I can see it going. I know, a period drama. Yes, exactly. Don't squeeze too hard. Oh, just go and read an article on Bridgerton, um, Jennifer, and you'll understand. My pleasure, Cindy. Are you off? I'm not going anywhere just yet. But I tell you, when I'm finished here, I'm dashing to the hardware store because we need a new ladder. Because we... Our ladder broke. One of the rivets um, came undone, putting our um, putting our Christmas decorations up. So we need a new ladder to put our Christmas decorations away. Oh, you're still here. Liked Berkeley Square. It's old. Is what um, streaming service is that on, Jennifer? I've not heard of that one. Liking doing a few, um, a few landscape ones. So these scraps of Misty Moonlight are literal scraps. Some of them are wider and... No, I'm going to pop this one down the bottom because I really like this detail. Um, and I literally just chopped them in half and then chopped them to length. Yes, you may have to do it out of curiosity, but tell me what streaming service Berkeley Square's on. I'm very curious. I need to know. Okay. There yeah, are. Uh, oh. Seriously? Did I not do enough of these? Really? I can't count, people. I can't count. Because I'm way short on these. But do you know what? They can just sit in here. Because I have enough to get me out of trouble. And they can just sit in here and I can grab my, um, my jig. But yeah, I didn't do enough. I'm like three short. Let's see if I'm three short on my sentiments too. Maybe it's the three that I'd previously done. I don't know. But I'm three short. Oh, yeah. Which way that opens that way. I like this area. So I'll put this in this area. So the good thing about this kind of design is you can pick and choose where you are putting things. Okay, I'm so annoyed at myself. It's okay. I'll finish these tonight. But at least we were able to get the bulk of it done together. And I don't have much left. And then I can put my business detail, um, or at least, I do implore people to at least put their name on the back of the cards. Because quite often, I did receive some beautiful Christmas cards from you lovely ladies, my supporters. And it had Joe on the inside. I know a number of Joes. But if you write, made by Joe Bloggs, 
on the outside. Oh, you have it on DVD, radio. I'd not heard of it. Oh, I know. I am only human. I do not profess to be anything else. I am full of flaws. Just ask my husband and my children. They will sing those flaws. Okay. This one's a bit not centred, but it's okay. It's a handmade card. The male receiving it really won't care. I promise you, they really, truly won't care. But I would love to know how I miscalculated so badly. Probably because I was prepping all of this at 11 o'clock last night. Because I was so enthralled in my TV series. Whoops. Yeah, I was saying something and I totally lost my train of thought, didn't I? So I've done too many of my sentiments and not enough of these, but I've still got everything out on my desk. So it'll be... So this came off and I put the dimensional backing back on upside down. Oh, I think that's just going to have to stay as is and not stick in the middle. I have a stamp made up to stamp. Yes, I use a sticker. Um with my like website my name and address and all of that jizz -a jazz okay so i am left with four cards to complete that's not too bad and how many cards have we completely finished two four six eight ten 12, 14, 16, 18. So we'll end up with 22 cards and I've just got four to finish. So that's pretty good. So let's grab out everything. So I'll put these unfinished ones back in here. So then I know what's where I'm up to with everything and I may you never know I may go through and add more gems um tonight to these you never know but but if I had to send a card right now I would happily send any of these cards in the mail okay so just to remind you that uh let me grab out this card this card, the stamp sets are available in the celebration catalog that starts on the 5th. Now, please remember, the 5th is a Tuesday, so I will be here for a catalog walkthrough on Tuesday of both the mini catalog and celebration. So, the stamp sets that we use for that are a touch of ink and corner bouquet. So, those ones go with that card. For our masculine card, I and the paper that I've used for both is currently on sale. Um, and it is the Snowflake Splendor. So for this card, I have used the You Are Amazing. That is in our mini catalogue, also starting on the 5th. So I've combined retiring products. Oh no, that's why I sent mine out myself. I just wanted to be safe and know that I'd sent them. But I know the US Postal Service has not been great at the moment. I've also used the stitched rectangle dies and all the embellishments we use. We used the basic rhinestones. We used the holiday rhinestones and we used the in color rhinestone, uh, the in color enamel dots as well as Winkers Stella brush. 
and all the punches we used we used one and a half inch circle we used two inch circle for our celebration card and we used our two and a quarter inch circle for our you are amazing card to recap the colors that we used for this card it is highland heather and pool party for our other more colored with the different pattern i used highland heather and balmy blue for this one we use night of navy and misty moonlight which are a perfect pairing and we use stitch i use stitch rectangles and i did use the stitch rectangles through my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine so they're all the products that i've used um these are available as of the 5th of january all of these are available right now to purchase so i do have a link to my store in the description ah uh, yes oh no if you watch some youtube unboxing videos you can get a great idea of the new product selections yes and i do have one of those Rhonda. i think i'm up to unboxing number three or four um, and they are all I have an unboxing um, playlist on my YouTube or you can find them um, here under my videos I have done that many unboxings as well but I'm not allowed to show you the inside pages of the catalogue till the 5th so I'll be back on Tuesday so this is kind of another bonus crafting video because I won't be crafting on Tuesday I'll just be doing a catalogue walkthrough so thank you all so much for joining me and I shall see you on Tuesday. I can't anticipate coming on tomorrow because I'll be getting rid of, not getting rid of, pulling down um, and putting away all my Christmas decorations because the time has come and I just need to get on with the new year and say goodbye to Christmas. For me, it's a little early, but that's just the way it is um, this year. So thank you. I hope you're all well. Any questions, please ask. Louisa is looking at me saying goodbye as well. Thank you so much. Hi, Lynette. Sorry, I'm just saying goodbye. Thanks, girls. Bye.